Hey everybody, welcome back to Durbin's Bourbon. I am Josh. I am Joe. <laughs> Today we're going to do a review of a Missouri, Kentucky, oh not Kentucky, <laughs> Missouri straight <laughs> bourbon whiskey. <clears throat> it's Ben Holiday. It's a bottle and bond. So it's 100 proof. It's six years old. Joe's having some problems getting it off. <laughs> Is it a screw top? Oh, oh it's a oh, screw top. It was a screw we top. We didn't even know. Uh, it was lent to us by a co-worker. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't even Gavin know your first name. Yeah, I don't even know your first name. <laughs> We're just going to do uh, last name. Yeah. Anyways, thank you very much. But this is our first try of this. I don't think I've ever had a Missouri. I have that something Remus or something might be Missouri. Uncle Remus. Yeah, is that Missouri? Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty good. <clears throat> so we're interested to try this. Again, it's Hunter Proof, six years old. Um, it's kind of cool. It's got on the side, it's got uh, this side here, like the floor. So this is 27% on floor two, 55% on floor three, 18% on floor five. Warehouse C. So it's got cool little information on there that I think, you know, it's always fun to have. It is. But who knows? It could be all gimmicky bull crap. It Anyways, is neat to see yeah. if it's a blend and especially where you, they're pulling from. Like right. If you visit the warehouse. distillery, you're like, oh, okay. Right. Um, Absolutely. I don't know how much it is. I just saw it today at the liquor store. Uh, I think it's about 50 bucks. Is it? I think. Maybe. I um, pretty good nose, actually. It's a bottle and bond, so those of you that know what bottle and bond means, you know the regulations that go behind it. It's a federal regulation. It's got to come off the proof, oh, to still a certain proof. It's got to go into a glass bottle. It's got to be 160 proof or less. There's a whole host of legalities that make bottle and bond more unique than your standard run of the mill whiskey. Right, it's more bottle. regulated, right. so you know what you're getting. Yep. And it goes all the way back to the Bottle and Bond Act of 1897. So, Which is was, funny because all the food stuff always started with booze first. Correct. Like pastures like, and all that stuff. Absolutely. Was, the Bottle and Bond yeah. Act of 1897 by E.H. Taylor, which came out, was about whiskey. Mm -hmm. What's in the bottle is what it says, and that's what you get. Right. It wasn't about food. It wasn't about anything else. It was about whiskey. America. You got to love it. So, Americans. I'm sure, I'm sure it was the same in Scotland. Everywhere oh, yeah. else it makes booze. So, like, Amer no, we got to make sure this stuff is pure. <laughs> right. Americans mm -hmm. wanted what's in the bottle. Period. They didn't want spit. They didn't want acid. They didn't want tobacco juice. They didn't want any of that. They wanted pure whiskey. That's, That's a nice. Light. Yeah, it's got a nice nose. I can't. I almost want to say butterscotch, but it's not. It's like a hard it's candy. Very soft. Yeah. What's the proof? Hundred. It's a bottle of bond. Proof. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bottle and bottle and bond. I don't know that. I shouldn't. I'm, it's tattooed on my body. I should know this. It smells light for a hundred proof. It does. <clears throat> I'm not getting a whole lot of alcohol burn. Color on it is a light honey, a little darker. For a, six year? a little darker That's, for a yeah. six year, yeah. Yeah. Is it it's six, right? Yeah. So which is funny because I think it says when it was it was distilled in 2016. It's already six years old. I feel like 2016 was yesterday. It does. Time goes fast. Yeah. Yeah. Time goes fast when you're... What is that movie? Yeah. A little alcohol heat, though. Are you getting it? I'm not... Yeah. I'm getting a candy, like a... <clears throat> again, like a butterscotch, but more like a... There's a sweet tart. Is it sweet tart? There's yeah, a it's sweet like a candy, powdery, yes. powdery note. All right, let's give her a shot. All right. Let's give her a shot. Shot. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Mmm. I got caramel right off the bat. I got the sweet tart. Mm. I got like those chewy caramels you get. Or yeah. Caramels. Mm, really neat. See. see, I got. I have the sweet tart powdery note. Mm. The finish. And this is a little it's warm for me. It's clean, dry, and warm. That's actually pretty good. 
I think. It's not bad for a Missouri whiskey. Missouri? That's where my grandpa was from. Mm -hmm. God rest his soul. <laughs> uh, I like, I get a lot of caramel. Like, I get that caramel candy, that chewy caramel candy you get at the grocery store that you used to steal as a kid. Yeah. I could see and that. pay for later. Mm -hmm. you know, it's I could see that. Um, fun fact, Missouri, or Missouri, if you want to say it that way, say like that. is one of the few states in the nation, that's a little hollow in the yeah. tongue, that has a distilling law, the state, not feds, we don't mind the feds, feds. where you can legally distill up to... 98, I believe it's 98 gallons per owner of the real estate that you have. So if you oh. have a man and a wife, you own a house and property, each of you are the co-owners. Mm -hmm. You can distill 90, 95 wow. gallons of distilled spirits a year. A year. But then with a fence come out and say you're screwed. For personal consumption. Right. Just like beer and wine. Yeah, you just can't so sell it. You just can't sell it. So Good for you, Missouri. Yeah. Everybody else I wish, should do that. I wish every state was in the same ball game. Me too. Because it's, it's so silly. It's but silly. good for you, Missouri. Yeah. Um, yeah. Decent whiskey. <laughs> decent whiskey. Um, it's good. I can't remember what the price is. Yeah. I, I thought it was around 50 though, because it's been on the shelf. For, maybe it's like 35 <sighs> Okay. I'm looking at you, Davenport. Make a comment what you paid for this. Or we could just look it up. And or we can here. look it up and I can put it on there. <laughs> um, we just want more comments. <laughs> we appreciate you loaning this whiskey yeah, to you. us. A shout out to you and all your cohorts that are going to be watching the video and making fun of it. Hopefully. Um, Especially making fun of him. You, you did all the talking. I know. You did a good <laughs> job. Um, it's a decent whiskey. Yeah, it's good. I, I, like I think it. it was. I think it's if it's forty or under, it's worth it. I yeah. think over that, I probably wouldn't get it. Right. Yeah. But it's good. It's different. It doesn't taste like a typical bourbon for me. It's got a really no. chewy caramel butteriness. And I got and that sweet heat, tart and note. then heat dryness, like you said. So yeah, and I have the sweet tart powdery yeah. note and cherry. And I can see cherry too. So. Yeah. Anyway, so it's a decent bourbon if you see it. It's, I'd say if it's under 40 bucks, I'd pick it up. Sure. I <laughs> it's would something agree with different, that. you know. Yeah. It's got a cool history and they, there's a lot of information on the label, which is fun. Mm -hmm. uh, just remember to like and subscribe, comment. Uh, Joe will usually answer the comments, good or bad. I don't look at them because I'm very self conscious and I don't want anybody to say anything bad about me. <laughs> You're a <adorable. laughs> <You're ad> <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, we appreciate you all, and remember, always drink your bourbons and whiskeys any, any way you like. like. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Pal.